Peter K. 49, announced even more tour dates, adding to his current list of performances running all the way into 2024. After more than 12 years the comedian has officially returned to stand-up, sparking a string of sold-out shows. Peter's comeback tour already had dates reaching well into 2024, but has now announced plans to further provide for his audience. Speaking on BBC Radio 2 on Thursday evening, the comedian revealed he will be adding more dates to the tour. While the exact dates of the new shows are not yet known, Peter revealed they will be for Newcastle, Leeds, Manchester, Sheffield, Birmingham, Glasgow and more. He has also added an extra night to his London residency at the O2. Tickets will go on sale on Sunday December 11th, at 10am with prices starting at £35. Earlier this week he teased fans with posts on social media saying, I'd like to say a huge thank you to everyone who came to the first shows in Manchester. It was incredible to be a part of such a happy experience. Everybody deserves a bit of joy. Here's to a lot more in the shows to come. P. S. Big announcement Thursday on Sarah Cox Drive Time show just after 6 p.m. This is the second round of extra dates Peter has added to his tour. In early November, additional dates were added for London, Manchester, Birmingham, Dublin, and Belfast. The aptly named Better Late Than Never tour sold out in record-setting time, but the star wanted to ensure as many people could enjoy some laughter as possible. Don't miss, the current price, £35 per ticket, is the same as his last tour which took place in 2010. At that time Peter also earned the Guinness World Record for the biggest-selling comedy tour of all time, performing for over one. 2 million people. His comeback tour shocked many as it was announced during an ad break for I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here, in November. Tickets were so in demand that the website assigned to release pre-sale tickets crashed just minutes after going live. Peter's tour started just a few days ago, and he was moved to tears at his very first performance. The sold-out Manchester crowd chanted his name as he took to the stage for the first time in over a decade. The comedian shed a few tears before joking, I can't believe I cried. Where did it come from? All that emotion. Outside of his first performance, touts were reportedly reselling tickets to desperate fans for a jaw-dropping £155 per person, 